Hey, Foydy Me J here. Welcome to the video. I hope you're all doing good. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some Billy references and Easter eggs throughout Red Dead Redemption 2. At the minute, I'm doing a blind playthrough of Billy, so if you want to see that, make sure to hit the notification bell, because I'll be live later, streaming the second part of that tonight. And yeah, I wanted to make this video saying I am doing the playthrough of Billy. I wanted to make the video just to show all the Easter eggs that we have of Billy in Red Dead. So hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and let's get into it. Our first Easter egg can be found here in the Saloon of Valentine. This isn't going very well. And inside you'll be met with Jim Boy Calloway and Mr. Levins. Jim Boy, I think, is a reference to Jimmy Hopkins from Bully oh, as Jimmy and Jim. But of also because of Boy, Jimmy is referred to as Boy a lot by the teachers in Bully, and I think this is a reference to him. Let's take a look at the cutscene. Who's your friend there? This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Lucy Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. How's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm going to write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> the headmaster is expecting you, Hopkins in his study. Okay. His study is over there, boy. In the main building. Now, let me see. You've done a lot of naughty things, haven't you? Vandalism, graffiti, bad language, violent conduct, disrespecting staff. Oh, I'm scared of you, Hopkins. Come on, give me a break. Yes, I've never met a boy like you. Never in all my life. Hopkins, you're quite the nastiest little boy I have ever encountered. Tell me, why should I waste my time on you? I don't know. Because it's my calling. It's what I do. You excel at causing trouble, and I excel at fixing little boys like you. At making you into respectable members of our community here at the Academy. I've got a good feeling about you, boy. A feeling you and I are going to be great friends. You keep that nose clean, boy. Or I shall clean it myself. Miss Danvers, are you back yet? Yes, Headmaster. And I got your tea. You are good to me, Miss Danvers. No more than you deserve, Headmaster. Take our new friend Hopkins here and show him around the school and get him properly attired. Certainly, Headmaster. Come along, boy. I haven't got all day. And boy, remember, you will have a clean nose. So keep it clean or we'll clean it for you. After tracking down all the gunslingers, you'll be met with this mission. <laughs> so you got them. I think so. Did you kill his cousin back in 82? <laughs> Whose cousin? My cousin. I never shot no one, didn't deserve it. Uh, you shot Jed Calloway. And I told you then I'd shoot you too. And I would have. You'd shown up. I was there. No, you weren't. You left town. You take that back. But I don't care now. It's nigh on 20 years ago. We're old men. We're lucky. Fight me. You're an old man. Come on, fight me. It's a bit late, isn't it? God damn you. Oh. After you complete the mission, you'll be able to pick up the Canis Canem Edit revolver. Canis Canem Edit is Latin for dog eat dog. Rockstar had to change the name of Billy in some countries because of anti bullying campaigners. This is a special revolver that you can only get during this mission.
This one's really simple, but it's an achievement that you get for completing the epilogue in Red Dead Redemption 2 called Endless Summer. This is also the title of Chapter 6 in Bully. Please, I need help here. The saloon is absolutely overrun with rats. Worse than last time. Much, much worse. I can't get near the damn things. Scurrying around. But I need him gone. I'll pay double from the last time, huh? Yeah? Jesus, fella. Won't say no to the money, though. Oh, thank God. Head in there, but please, please, try not to destroy the place. So this mission is a reference to the mission in Billy, where you have to go and take care of the rats as well. And when you shoot the rats, the same sound effect that the rat makes in Bully is the same sound effect that happens here. Have a listen. Let's take a look at the cutscene now in Bully. Well, shit. Thank you, mister. You're in this, that's for sure. You got it. This is a disgrace! Oh, 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 I don't want plague or a pet rat! This is your fault, Jimmy! Huh? What? No, it isn't. What are you guys talking about? Uh, the library uh, is full uh, of rats! And I got my pre-pre-pre-med test next week, amigo! <sighs> You're such a lame old oh, some king you turned out to be. Oh, how I long for the old days. Sure, we were laughed at and mercilessly bullied by everyone, but at least you could study without fear of rodents coming near us. Get off! Oh, did you piss yourself again, Algy? Ew. No, oh, I swear. Algie. I spilled soda on myself. Soda, oh. right? What a bunch of sissies. Well, I'm not afraid of a few rats. Jeez, pathetic. Come on, child, use the rat poison! For the last easter egg you'll want to come here on the map. Inside the circus wagon you'll see two conjoined twins with that purpley blue dress on there. And if we get on top of the wagon you'll see that the wagon is named number three. This is because this is the third attraction that you'll see in Bully. We also have a picture of the twins here. Now let's take a look at them in Bully. I was normal. I tell them, no way! I'm happy with who I am. I always have my sister nearby, and I have a great job. Life couldn't be better. I've always wanted a pony. I'd take him riding in the meadows in the sunshine. I think I'd name him Goldie. He'd have a golden mane, you see? Their names are Delilah and Jezebel. The only difference there is they're conjoined at the hip, and these two are conjoined at the torso. I still think it's a reference to them, nonetheless. We also have the fortune teller in here, which you can find in Billy as well. I've got the level 9 beard trying to get at the 10. Let's take a look at the fortune teller and Billy. Well, 
that's it for the video today. I really hope that you did enjoy it. Remember to leave it a like if you did. And if you aren't subscribed, consider subscribing to the channel. Big shout out to all the members and everyone that's subscribed. If you want to see the live stream later, remember to hit the notification bell so you know once I go live. I'll be going live around 7pm GMT. So I hope to see you there. Can't wait to get back into Billy. I'm really enjoying it so far and I can't wait to see what happens next. So take care everyone. Peace out and I'll see y'all in the void.